Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Premier, along with the Westbury community and people who live on Birralee Road, we'd like to understand why your government chose a 70 hectare reserve with high conservation values as the new, new northern prison site. This new site is a haven for multiple native species, including rare endemic birds. When you landed on this site to try to get out of political hot water over the previous site, were you aware, Premier, the land was set aside under the Regional Forest Agreement and is part of the National Reserve System? Given strong community opposition to this site, as well as evidence of high conservation values, will you reconsider again and put the new Northern Prison in a repurposed Ashley at Deloraine, where there's a skilled workforce and community acceptance of a prison next door? Premier, this would allow your government to build two new therapeutic youth detention facilities north and south that delivers better outcomes for young offenders. As your resources minister might say, it's a win, 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 win scenario. Thank you. Right, the Honourable Premier. Yeah, I, I, I wonder where you were going for a moment. Uh, I thank uh, the Leader of the Greens uh, for that question and for her interest in this uh, particular matter. Firstly, let me deal with the, um, the status of the land and the um, uh, unfortunate mistruths that surround it. Firstly, the site was originally purchased from a private landowner because it was believed it contained a specific forest type which had been significantly reduced by agricultural development uh, and was not well reserved um, as, uh, uh, as because of that um, uh, fact. However, subsequent investigation revealed that the site did not contain this forest type but instead a similar but not threatened uh, forest type. The cause of this initial error is not clear. It obviously occurred some time ago, but there's no criticism of those who undertook the initial assessments. The site does not contain pristine forest. The, the site does not contain pristine forest, but shows evidence of a very long history of timber harvesting, and more recently, illegal firewood collection, stock grazing, uh, rubbish dumping, and shooting. The site um, has not been actively managed by the Crown, um, is not the responsibility of the Pipwee's private land conservation program. The site does not contain the values for which it was originally purchased. Well, and and, indeed, Lloyd, and indeed, for more than a decade, consideration has been given to allowing the land to be sold with the intention of allowing um, a portion of the land to be cleared for a residence, um, which surprises me. So this is a bush block. This is a bush block um, in an ideal location to build a prison. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Right there. That's exactly what we're going to do, uh, uh, Madam Speaker. Hey, big mistake. Now, Madam Speaker, like Madam Speaker the, the member said, um, you know, in quite a flowery introduction yeah. in terms of our thinking um, around this. And I'll explain uh, what occurred in February and how we worked through this process. Um, obviously, the attorney and myself met with... <laughs> met with the met with the community, and it would be fair to say, and I informed cabinet I, um, uh, when I next met with them, but I was surprised at the level of support in Westbury. To be frank, as a result of going to Westbury that day and meeting with those that were both for and against um, the prison, but what was interesting was I took the opportunity to speak to everybody on the street. Um, uh, the first person I spoke to was a. A woman that was at with um, uh, two younger people that were uh, sitting across from the recreation ground, where uh, I'm sure some members in this place have either played cricket or football at some stage. Um, at, uh, and playing at Westbury uh, probably had the same amount of luck that I had um, in terms of um, outcomes at it. But I crossed the road and I went and had a chat and spoke to her and, um, and she said to me, look, bring it on. She said, I want jobs for these two young people here. They don't have jobs. Uh, she said, interestingly enough, she, uh, that she worked for Ashley. And she said, I feel very comfortable. She said, in fact, it um, doesn't concern me at all. Um, I went down the street. Um, I talked to people at the front of the, um, the coffee shop. Uh, they were similarly positive. I went into the coffee shop and I had a chat with a group of um, older people that were sitting down, that were sitting down having um, a coffee. And the very clear message from there was eight to ten people that were in that coffee shop was, look, just get on and build it. Just get on and build it. Um, I then met with the stakeholders through the course of the day and obviously, and obviously understood very clearly um, the position of RAP. 
and their opposition to that that particular that site. Now, Order, in terms please. of it's in terms of the conversation with RAP, I don't think that I'm stretching things too far to suggest that they made the point that they had no problem with the prison um, being in the municipality. They just didn't want it at that particular site. They wanted it moved. In fact, I think somebody also suggested that we should move it to Ashley, as you've just done. Yeah. Um, which is interesting. Simplest which is interesting. If we Moving to Ashley puts it within four kilometres of Deloraine, whereas the site that we've selected puts it over five kilometres away from Westbury. But Deloraine's um, comfortable... But setting, that but setting that aside, I also met with representatives, as did the attorney, of the industrial estate. And they were... Um, uh, split, to be frank. Some were for it, some were again it. Um, but the ones that were again it um, raised the point, they said, look, what our concern is, not that it's a prison or it's going to be a massive construction site for a period of time, our concern is that you'll be putting 300 beds across the road from an industrial location. We currently operate to a permit um, where we don't operate 24 hours a day, but if we wanted to, that concerns us that um, the uh, location of a prison in that site might fetter the industrial estate. And so I started to give that some thought. I then went to meet with the resident that is the most affected by the original site and sat with him and his wife uh, one Sunday afternoon and looked out their lounge room window and they pointed to where the prison would be. And as I indicated to them that I was giving thought to what was, um, what was possible, um, I spoke to them about their thoughts about it moving further um, away from that location. Um, they were, again, not against a prison, just the fact that it was being built almost in their front yard did provide them with some concern, I think it's fair to say. And so we asked for further work to be done. This site, five kilometres down the road, um, owned, owned by the Crown, a not reserve. a reserve. It is, and I want to be it clear, is it is, it is unallocated, it is unallocated Crown land. It is unallocated Crown land, Madam Speaker, and as I've described, it um, has the characteristics of a bush block, and unfortunately, in recent times, it's been used for rubbish dumping. Now, we will continue our, um, our investigations, Madam Speaker, but the, uh, the Minister has outlined a time frame. Um, we, believe, we believe that that location, that location will satisfy the vast majority of the people that live in the Meander region. Um, we believe that that location will satisfy the vast majority um, of those who are pragmatic. Um, in the Westbury community, the bird, and, and we will get on and we will build it.